635. Now time for business news with Mike Apple and the latest on a, uh, a pretty, pretty high loonie in almost 15 months, Mike. Yeah, 79 and a third cents U.S. Good morning, Tammy. We're looking at the Canadian dollar surging almost a half cent already today, which uh, for this time of the morning, a half cent move is... Uh, not typical, but what's happened here in just the past little bit? Well, of course, we've had the interest rate hike by the Bank of Canada, which really kicked off the wave of buying on the Canadian currency a few weeks back. And then you've got analysts now saying, you know, 80 cents U.S. is the next easy target for the Canadian dollar, which two months ago was at 72 cents. Keep that in mind. It's seen a huge run up here. And then you've got the U.S. dollar down again this morning because of the failure of the Trump administration to move forward on health care reform. And does that derail the economic policies for the Trump administration? What does that mean for the U.S. economy this year? Does it slow things down? So a lot of moving parts to all of this in the currency market this morning. Also, what could affect the currencies going forward, the renegotiation of NAFTA, the Trump administration laying out what they're hoping to accomplish with these trade negotiations, which will probably take about a, a year's time, if not more, to complete because they're targeting so many different sectors of the economy. A lot of work to do, but keep that in mind because that was expected to be maybe a negative for the Canadian economy if, in fact, there are all sorts of trade disputes going forward with our largest trading partner. Netflix stock, record high, pre-market this morning, $179 a share is the indicated start price for the video streaming company, which yesterday reported huge subscriber growth, 5 million more customers globally, more in the international markets now than in the U.S. alone, and they're actually making a little bit of an operating profit, but reinvesting that in the new programming. Netflix, prior to this morning's 10% jump, already up 30% year-to-date. And Sears Canada will be back in Ontario Superior Court today. They want to ask permission to uh, get the go-ahead for the liquidation sales at more than 50 locations across the country. Those are expected to start on uh, Friday of this week and uh, should be wrapped up by October as the bankruptcy protection reorganization continues for the retailer. We'll send it back to the studio.